Hey guys, welcome back to the Time Channel. <laughs> it's uh, the day before Christmas Eve, and uh, I got away from the from my girlfriend with the, all the boring uh, TV shows with Christmas stuff and uh, and uh, all the cuddling on the sofa. So uh, I made uh, made some time to make a movie. Um, today we're gonna tie the the Bag Limit Destroyer, um, a variant of it. Uh, I think that the original one is tied by uh, a guy called um, Mika or Michael or yeah, something like that. I think maybe a Swedish guy or something for uh, I can't remember his last name uh, because um, yeah, I think he's a fisherman that uh, fishes a lot in uh, Stjordals Elva in Norway, and I think that's the. Um, like the um, uh, where the fly was made, I think that's the place it was made, and that's the river it's made for. But of course, this fly will work a uh, lot of other places. Um, as I said, um, this is a variant um, inspired by uh, the guys at Nordic Fishing Gear in uh, um, in Oslo. Um, I saw this fly the first time in back in 2017, I think. When Tommy uh, or Krishla tied it, um, so I'm gonna tie his variant, but with a little tweak with the uh, with the two tube I use and uh, where I placed the uh, flash, etc. Um, and of course, a little different materials, but the same colors almost. Um, I think uh, I have no experience with fishing with this fly. Um, I haven't tried it. Uh, I tied it sometimes, but. Uh, well, I never tried it, and as I said earlier, I have a like a arsenal of flies that I uh, I prefer to use. But of course, this is a great pattern, I think, and I heard a lot of guys caught a lot of fish on it, so I uh, I guess it's uh, worth trying it, and it's a cool fly to tie. Um, it's a bit technical because uh, that there is no no difference from other flies to tie, but I think. Um, when you have this many layers of wings, you have four wings there, four layers of uh, of different materials. Um, you have to know um, how much material you're going to use in each wing to make it look like a good pattern and not a big sock of wool, I think. <laughs> because here you can totally destroy the fly by using too much material in each wing. Um, the same with the hackle, don't do too many wraps. On the shackle, um, so um, yeah, uh, so that's the bag limit destroyer. It look, looks like this. I just tied one. I had to cheat a bit because it's a long time since I tied it. But this is how it looks. So it's a, I think it's a fly for a lot of water though because it's so many wing layers and it's quite. Uh, this one is maybe eight centimeters. I guess you can tie it a lot smaller if you want to, but. Uh, I don't know if you see it is good, but yeah, it's a pattern with a lot of colors in it. So I think early fishing, I would say, and it probably works pretty good on the gavel as well because of all the chartreuse colors and the, uh, the orange ones and yeah, etc. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you the materials. Um, we start off by using a, I'm using a 14, 19mm Stanton tube, the tungsten tube, as I did earlier. You can tie it on a 10mm US tube, and you can tie it on bare, just a uh, plastic tube if you want, it uh, doesn't matter. Um, that's all up to you guys, but I want, uh, I want them to be heavy and go down, uh, especially on the big flies with this much materials. I think it's, the heaviness is a really important uh, aspect there. Um, so, um, yeah, the body is going to be uh, golden. I'm using the Alta Gold braid from Fredin to cover up the body. Um, yeah, the inner tube is, I think it's chartreuse on Tommy's movie, but uh, I'm using just a black one. I think that's natural and okay. Use a clear one or yeah, whatever. Um, 
and the first wing layer it's a lime um, you can use fox polar bear whatever um, I like to use polar bear in the lower parts of the flight to build a nice fundamental in the fly so uh, it lifts the wing and it also um, uh, it also um, uh, helps the, the fly with not hooking up into the hook uh, it prevents the fly from like tangling um, if you cast a lot and yeah so polar bear nice quality polar bear from Sasha um, Zaja that's advertising <laughs> so hashtag advertising um, I'm joking yes uh, yes and uh, lime colored ish shutters um, soft patch for the first tackle um, the second tackle will be a second wing I mean will be some fox sunburst yellow fox following up by guess what sunburst soft patch not that complicated and then after this you follow up with some orange fox um, I can say that with a really good quality fox like this one for example this is from Telis uh, really good fox quality uh, it's really slim there is not that much under wool as you can see really good quality uh, when, you, when you use this uh, you won't get the huge volume on the flies they will build up pretty nicely and uh, you will get a good um, drop form on them, on them. Uh, also not uh, you don't want the fattest flies always so yeah uh, after that we are going to uh, tie in a chartreuse and this is the chartreuse one this is not the same the other one was lime <laughs> chartreuse they're almost the same but this is a bit more chartreuse so I'm, uh, I have too many uh, patches I guess so uh, I can choose to choose a bit then we are going to tie in a temple dog wing um, Chartreuse one. After that, I'm tying in the hot green and the, I think it's hot green and the, yeah, hot green and the green um, from Fredim, the flesh. And then we're gonna finish off the fourth wing with a fiery brown. And then we are going to use some um, uh, hot magma yellow. Uh, from Frodin also and then there are jungle cock so use a substitute if you don't have a real one or I see that um, on this on, I think on the original fly there is yeah there is jungle cock but on Tommy's fly there is no jungle cock so I prefer to use it I do that um, and we're gonna finish off with the varnish and super glue and yeah you know the drill so cool um hope you enjoyed the fly there has been some questions about it and uh yeah and uh take a look at what you think and uh give me a heads up if you have fished with this fly if you tried it uh, had an experience with it um yeah uh, would be cool to know because i haven't used it a lot and yeah there's a fly i can start using though if i uh it, it is a beautiful fly when it's done so absolutely there is a um, good possibility that we can uh, try this one out in the summertime so hit me up if you know anything about it okay so let's get into the fly okay so um starting off by tying in the tying thread black tying thread and then i have a uh, little piece here with the gold Fredin braid just follow the reels down all the way you stop here okay some super glue 
on both sides. Secure that. Cut off the waste. I forgot to mention some Alta Gold dubbing, Blitz dubbing here. I used that to cover up the place I was tying in the braid. Oops. Like this. And you go down on the inner tube. Pull everything back. Do a couple wraps. This one you can brush up a bit if you want to. Um, okay, so first wing, starters or lime, lime colored um, polar bear. Okay, so you make you want to make this about. Almost the length of the, uh, the steering tube at the back, maybe maybe a bit longer. Okay, so that's the fundamental of the fly, like that. Some varnish, just to secure it, like that. Now we're gonna tie in the first hackle. That's the lime, lime chartreuse, chartreuse, uh, ish color. Uh, if you only have chartreuse, you can just use that. There's no problem. So as I said, not too many reps here, and yeah, you don't want to have too much shackle. So I guess I'm gonna get maybe two and a half wrap or three with this one. Uh, hackle tool. So it's a fucking mess here now. Sorry. <laughs> I need to clean this up soon. Okay. Tie that in. That's two. Yeah, we're gonna get three. Three reps. Secure it, pull everything backwards. One, two, three. Pull that off. Snip off the waist. Like that. Now, um, we're gonna tie in the sunbursts, color uh, fox, just a small thin layer, not too much. I pull out some underwool. Make this a bit longer than the first one. Some varnish to secure it. Okay. I feel like the light is a bit too bright. I don't know. Well, we'll see after. Um, now I'm gonna tie in the sunburst uh, hackle. So 
just gonna find a good piece here. I'll take this one. This was the old Future Fly patches. And I'm not that impressed about them, to be honest. So I don't use them that much, but I had a sunburst laying around, so. Why not use it? Tie that one in. Snip off this one. Whoa, that's bad. Okay, and then just pull the hackle backwards and go and do the wraps. This is such a soft, soft, tiny hackle, so it's <laughs> quite hard to make it good. But we're gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Pull everything backwards, secure it. Like that. Snip off that little waist. And uh, now uh, we're gonna have the orange swing. So for this one, it's gonna be a bit longer than the other ones. Because now we're gonna start to build the fly a bit more. Okay, so a bit longer. Like that. As you can see here, the, dis the, uh, the difference from this fox to the other ones I had under is that it's so much more, the quality is like two different worlds. I didn't have to pull off any under wool and uh, yeah, it's fantastic quality. Some varnish, just to secure the materials. Okay. Um, so now uh, we're gonna tie in um, the chartreuse cycle. Now I pick out a feather that's a bit bigger than the others. Just you want the the, um, the last tackle to be a bit bigger than the others. Snip this little bastard off. Like that. Secure it. Get off this little guy. Um, now we're gonna tie in the two last wings. So a thin layer of uh, chartreuse temple dog. As you can see, I'm using the temple dog as one of the last materials. That is because the temple dog is so soft that it won't help you uh, to build up a really good fundamental in the fly, I think. That's my opinion though, so if you have any other opinions about it, you can hit me up. You know where to find me. Okay, whoops. So I uh, pulled in some hackles there. Okay, like that. Some 
one ish. Um, now we are going to, uh, um, to try in the last wing. That will be the fiery brown. So a thin layer of the fiery brown. Oh fuck, forget about that. We're we gonna have some flash before that. So, what I do here is to take pull out a bunch of fibers. You wanna have some flash on this, on this fly, I guess, because it's, uh, I think it's an early pattern. You can tie it in smaller flies as well to fish with it later, though. But, uh, like the 8 to 10 centimeters, you're gonna. You want to fish them early or if there is a flood or something though so okay like that um then we're gonna have the fire brown sorry for that This is also a really good quality fire brown from Telis. Okay. Some varnish. Cut off that little tip. Um, and now uh, we are going to have the dodo flash, the, the magma yellow, hot magma. Here I'm doing a lot almost the same as I did I almost do the same as I did on the first one but I'm gonna show you a little trick it's not a trick though but it's how I do it okay so on the first side I'm going to tie it in on the side like this I cut off this part then I turn it the opposite way to make it so I don't have the same lengths on the fibers and then tie it in on the other side like that Then the jungle work. Yeah, by the way, I was so lucky that just recently I got a hold of a new cape. And, uh, that's not normal here in Norway. So if you guys can hook me up with some jungle cock capes, just hit me up. Some super glue to secure the 
jungle cock. You don't want them to fall off, especially in these times when, when there is no guys selling this in Norway. You have a distribution problem because of the there is nobody farming these birds and making site certificates on them. So yeah, that pretty much sucks for us here in Norway. So people are selling them pretty expensive on the internet and sometimes you can get lucky and get a cape from Sweden or something, but it's illegal so it's hard to you can't get caught in the customs with this so this one has a site certificate though, so I'm doing legal shit there guys. Okay. Wrap it up with some more super glue. Finish off with the uh, whip finish. Like that. Pulling it off to trim off the head. Okay. Like that. Now you can add some varnish. Okay, like that. And there we go. The bag limit destroyer. Thanks for watching guys. Merry Christmas and enjoy the evening tomorrow. And. Uh, See you guys later on when uh, I have more. I have a lot of more movies coming out, and I'm actually going to tie a fucking bomber for you guys, and that will be so much dear here. So it'll be fun though. So yeah. Hope you liked the video, and uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. The video it means a lot to me. Um, so take care of each other and stay safe. Okay. Goodbye.